Hey guys, it's me, Ego here. Hi. Hello. I have with me some new tints that seem similar yet possess a different charm from the original tints benefit. I have made all the colors of Splash Dewy Tint and Plush Velvet Tint. I would like to start the video by thanking Benefit for willingly accepting our request. Benefit Splash Dewy Tint and Plush Velvet Tint. These are Benefit's new tints that embody Benefit's unique preppy vibe. The two tints are so pretty that I want to use them every day with their similar yet different charms. The cases look the same, but when opening the lid and taking out the applicator, they have different shapes. Dewy Tint comes with a spoon type applicator customized for dewy finish, while Velvet Tint has a velvet texture with a customized doe foot shape applicator. I was able to see that they paid close attention to the applicators as they had different finishes. Although the two tints seem to have similar moist and soft feel when applied, it was interesting that the finishes were different. Dewy Tint has a moist appearance at first, but gradually becomes more shiny and boosts a pretty color. The Velvet Tint, while having the same moist appearance at first, gradually changes to a velvety appearance. In the case of Dewy Tint, it's a buildable coverage tint that can be applied as many times as desired to create a variety of looks, so it was great for creating a glowy yet rich colored look. Velvet Tint is a full coverage tint that adheres smoothly and has a light and vivid color, so it was good for creating a gradient with just one coat. The two tints were released in 12 colors each, giving a glimpse of a total of 24 new colors. From its assortment of light to deep colors, the two tints carry quite a diverse selection of colors. Since it doesn't focus on one tone, it's a color composition that looks good so you can choose a color that suits you best without being limited by tone. Benefit Splash Dewy Tint this is a tint with a light water glow texture that creates moist, plump lips. This tint provides instant vitality and moisture to your lips with a berry complex containing rich moisturizing ingredients and hyaluronic acid. It's a tint with a water glow texture that adheres smoothly and lasts for a long time without smudging or smearing and is easy to reapply as much as you want. Number 1 Skinny Dip This is said to be a peachy beige color with a sweetness of maple syrup. It's a natural looking color with a hint of white, so it looks good as a base color. Number 3, Fresh Squeezed. This is said to be a vibrant daily juice pink color. It has a vibrant color with a daily fill rather than a bright fill. Number 5, Honeymooner. This is said to be a floral rose color that goes well with any tone. It has a slightly calming dry rose color that seems to go well in all four seasons. Number 7, Tutti Frutti. This is said to be a bright and bold fuchsia pink color. It's a color that has a very cool feel, so it's a color that I recommend it to those that are summer cool among cool tone people. Number 9, Isle Style. This is a mango coral color that embodies cha cha tint reputation. I like to recommend this color to those who enjoy spring warm tone and is a color that is very refreshing to the eyes. Number 11, Slushy. This is said to be the color of dried figs soaked in afternoon sunlight. I like to recommend this as an autumn warm tone daily wear and is a color that seems to go well with autumn warm tones. Number 15, Yachi Hari. This is said to be a clear red color that brightens the skin tone. Personally, I like to recommend it to everyone because it's a red color that goes well with all tones. Number 17, Heat Wave. This is said to be a dark pomegranate red color with a low brightness and mood. I like to recommend it to those with warm autumn tones as it has a pomegranate like color. Number 19, Boardwalk. This is said to be a deep orange brown color that resembles a sunset. It's a color with quite atmospheric colors and I would like to recommend it to those with warm autumn tones. Number 21, Summer Flame. This is said to be a pure and transparent grape fit color. It was a shade with a color that will suit you well if you often use muted tones. Number 23, Coco Cabana. This is said to be a rosy mocha brown color with a drop of rose color added. This is a quite trendy color and I would like to recommend it to those with warm autumn tones. Number 25, White Brim. This is said to be a deep sangria red color with an alluring atmosphere. It's a color that exudes great charm and I think it would be really pretty when used by cool winter people. Benefits Plush Velvet Tint. This is a tint with an amazing texture that is matte yet moisturizing and provides a light and comfortable feeling on the lips. It contains berry complex and hyaluronic acid, which contain the same rich moisturizing ingredients as the dewy tint and boost a moist application. The velvet tint also adheres smoothly and lasts for a long time without smearing or smudging. It has a velvet finish that gently blurs the lips, making the lips comfortable and the color smooth. Number 2, Cream Puff. This is said to be a warm and calm beige rose color. This color is recommended as a base color as it has a color that does not overtone the tone. Number 6, Pillow Play. This is said to be an elegant dusty rose color with a standard MLBB color. 
This color seems to have a cool nude color and is Haley's favorite color. It's really pretty. Number 8, Cloud Fine. This is said to be a luxurious toned down cinnamon peach color. It's a color with a calm daily mood that I like to recommend to autumn mood tones. Number 10, French Toast. This is said to be a toast brown color that goes well with any color. The brown color looks warm at first glance, but it's a neutral and attractive color. Number 12, Pearl. This is said to be a daily muted fit color with a faded atmosphere. It's a shade with a deep charm and attractive color, so it would be good for those who are cool in the winter. Number 16, Fuzzy Slippers. This is said to be a lovely and warm strawberry pink color. This is a color with a soft and lively mood, recommended for spring warmers. Number 18, Feather Boa. This is said to be a red coral color that makes your skin look one tone brighter. It has a refreshing and sweet color that I think it'll look good on summer cool tones too. Number 20, Red Velvet. This is said to be an iconic ruby red color. It has a slightly less saturation color that seems to go well with chilly weather. Number 22, Silk PJs. This is said to be a cool and urban deep plum red color. At first glance, the color appears to be cool winter color. The slightly toned down deep plum red is very attractive. Number 26, Guilty Pleasure. This is said to be a color with a rosewood color similar to the dry rose color of a sunset. It's the perfect color for people with warm tone to cool tones. Number 28, Teddy. This is said to be a wine brown color mixed with a deep red of Binsha. It's an attractive shade with colors that are good to use from deep fall to cool winter. Number 30, Snuggle Up. This is said to be a brown mocha brown color that is perfect as an accent. It was a color that created a very pretty mood even when applied in gradation as a single color. Benefits New Tint, Splash Dewy Tint and Plush Velvet Tint are both very attractive tints that I personally like in terms of application, color, and longevity. I sincerely hope they will experience Benefits New Tint. So my video is still here. Thank you for watching my video today. Don't forget to subscribe, press the like buttons, and please leave some comments for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.